Hey everyone, welcome back to a beautiful day in Shanghai, China. Right now I'm walking along Wai Tan or the Bund, which is one of Shanghai's most famous stretches of road. Up in front of me is the entrance to the Suzhou Creek, which is home to one of Shanghai's most iconic buildings, the General Post Office, which not only was once the center of China's postal system, but also played a pivotal role in the 1949 battle for the liberation of Shanghai. Oh wow, and there it is, the Shanghai General Post Office building. It's not operating as a post office today, but inside you can find the Shanghai Postal Museum. And guess what? It's free of charge. Let's go in. The four-story General Post Office building was completed in 1924 and played a unique and important role in the history of China's post. The museum, which opened in 2003, displays much of that vivid history. One of my favorite places in the whole museum would have to be here, the courtyard, which used to be a mail transit area. And today you can still find a mail train, which used to run between Shanghai and Nanjing, and the first ever postal van brought to Shanghai in 1917. This post office also played a key role in Shanghai's liberation from the Kuomintang in 1949. But to truly understand why, we need to go back outside. It all has to do with how the post office is situated in relation to the Suzhou Creek and this bridge, the Sichuan Road Bridge. Back on May 25, 1949, the last fierce battle to liberate Shanghai ended here. The People's Liberation Army were closing in on the remaining Kuomintang fighters from the south side of the Suzhou Creek. But because of its 40 meter width, they needed to cross here, as well as three other bridges nearby. Because of the height of the post office, considered a high rise at the time, the Kuomintang used the building as their stronghold. It's really clear once you're up here on the rooftop of the General Post Office building just how valuable a vantage point this spot really was. The battle got so fierce that many PLA soldiers were killed right here. It is said that the bridge was dyed red with the blood of martyrs. Liberation soldiers had no choice but to fight back in kind. This is the only place in the city centre during the entire battle for the liberation of Shanghai where the People's Liberation Army used artillery. I'm lucky enough to be able to check out the back rooms of the post office, not open to the public. This is the infamous room 332. Today, 70 years later, the only real evidence of the brutal battle that took place here is this bullet hole. But it wasn't firepower alone that brought the Kuomintang to their knees. 14 postal workers who were members of the Communist Party of China managed to mobilize 200 of their colleagues from within the post office to push for the surrender of the Kuomintang. By 4 p.m. on May 25th, 1949, it was all over. And surprisingly, not a single piece of mail was destroyed. We walk past buildings like this every day without really stopping to think about the history that took place right beneath our feet. I'm glad I could share some of that with you guys today.